All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to another round of Super Auto Pets. Uh, I'm casting another game that I played um, in my free time at work, uh, or just during break time. Um, I've been struggling this week, I'll be honest. Um, I think this week I need to really lean into heavy pings, um, because this week I've just been trying to force like high stat builds, and uh, I've just getting I've just been getting slammed back to back to back. But anyways. First round here, just getting clapped. Uh, I'm like, ooh, mouse. So here I'm just like, should I just hold them? And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna hold them. Here. Got a little wombat. Got a little baku. Bakus are. I don't think they actually do anything because I don't think you keep any ailments permanently. So I'm like, I, I don't know if there is a pet that makes ailments stay forever on your opponents because that would be insane. Because that means they lose a round to me. They're like have just been completely bombed so anyways this run i'm just like wow i just lost twice at the start i'm not looking forward to it i'm like this is probably a write-off and i'm like ugh oh well let's keep playing here so i'll put some wombats down i don't think wombats are that good i rolled down here and i'm just like well well that's a wombat triple and then i'm like ooh, ow so i'm gonna try and hold on to the mouse here for as long as possible because um i can get an apple by selling the mouse and Apple's pretty good overall stats here. This guy is actually weaker than me, and I'm just like, oh, you know what? I'll take that. Um, so yeah, double Baku here is... Any doubles are quite risky because Axe Handle Hound is so popular right now. This guy just destroys them. So I'm like, okay, time to get the owl. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to triple this mouse here if I can. And I can sell for like a super OP apple. And I'm like, oh, Baku triple. And I'm like, wow, another owl. And I'm like, okay. That's, we're off to a good start. Double owl this early. So anyways, got no triples this time. Got him. Bonk. Got the melon here. Bang. Bong. I lose pretty hard though. But I just don't have a lot of stats in terms of attack right now. But it's a trade-off, you know. And I'm like, ooh. Mouse? Mouse? Ooh. And I'm, I pick up the penguin here. And I think about it. And I'm just like, okay, so here I'm like, okay, gotta get, get the best apple. Plus three, plus three. And I'm like, ooh, I can get the penguin here. And I was like, penguin can buff these guys. And I was like, that's pretty good. Rearrange everything. I think about it, and I'm just like, hmm, roll. I see another owl, and I'm like, oh my god, freeze the hawk. And then I sell, I sell one of the, I, I sell the baku because I'm like, I can't hold the baku there. And I'm like, wow, another owl. So I'm really weak this turn. I'm like, god, I'm probably gonna lose this round. But I was like, forget about it. Let's just go. No yolo. Um, so I think I actually just. Oh, I, I stole his Nightcrawler buff here. I think the Wombat has only one, has only worked once um, this whole game. Bonk, 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 and I'm just like, ah! That guy has one life, by the way. So I guess it was good that he faced me. So anyways, sell the mouse here, get an apple. So basically, the owl is just like plus a bunch of gold every turn and plus two every turn, provided you have the space open for it. Owl at level one is pretty weak. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, so I sell I sell that because I'm trying to maybe get a bat. Because I'm thinking bat and hawk together, really good combo. Unfortunately, my penguin doesn't do much because, well, now it's just buffing one thing. Uh, but here, my hawk is just going to take him out. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Ooh. And my owl, thanks to it eating all the mice, it has gained a ton of stats. So yeah, the owl is basically plus two gold. And... Um, Plus two, plus two, every turn. Uh, so here I pass up the dolphin. I think I probably could have taken the dolphin here. I pick up the dragonfly because I'm like, ooh, maybe. And I was like, wow, okay, okay, best pickup ever. And then I'm like, monkey, monkey. So yeah, dragonfly is just gonna buff everything. Or it, it's dragonfly is just better penguin. Uh, less stat points, but yeah. This guy's a really strong bat, and I just get ding. And I lose this round, and I'm like, oh god, I'm on one life. I'm on one life. But there's such as the perils of um, trying to go for a high roll build. Either you high roll, or you die roll. So I sell this, and I'm like, okay, let's get the monkey in here. So I have two stat buffers in the forms of monkey and dragonfly. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Put some magic beans on the hawk. At this point, I'm like, dude, should I just give up on this run? Like, this run is pretty toast. Freeze the banana because I'm like, maybe I can use it. And I'm like, okay, there's a hawk. There's a hawk. And then 
I'm gaining a good deal of stats every turn. Uh, I think it's like plus four, plus four, like plus six, plus uh, seven every turn. So that's not too bad. Hawk takes me out here. This guy's a bunch of small dudes. Bong. Bong. So the Hawk actually think, thank goodness the break points were good enough. That we were just bigger than this guy. This guy also had one health. So he goes down. He's done. And I'm like, mm, nah. Golden Egg here is pretty good. It just pings instantly. Um, for some damage here. I'm just going to keep buffing this owl until it gets humongous. I'm like, I don't want any of these. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Level 3 Dragonfly. Let's go. And I roll down here. So here I'm just like hanging on for dear life right now. Because, you know, I can't lose. Because if I lose, like, I just, I'm dead. So this is actually a super high risk build. Because of the sense that, because of the fact that, oh, that guy just got eliminated. But anyways, the Hawk's initial attack damage is really high because of um, the magic egg and its ability to ping. But here, this guy, I'm getting kind of scared because I'm just like, whoa, he's summoning a lot of he's summoning a lot of trumpets here, and I'm just like, uh, well, he wasn't that big, so yeah. Anyways, I'm like double chocolate. What does it mean? I could have actually doubled my owl actually, to be fair. But here I'm just like, nah, I'm just gonna spread the love onto the monkey here. Um, and I'll pop down at the owl. And I'm like, I was considering the lionfish, but I don't think it's strong enough. And I was like, wow, chocolate again. And then I'm just like, well, that's my hawk triple. So this run, I'm, I'm just getting super lucky here. Um, not punished. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm gonna not, I don't think I want to level with the monkey, because I level with the monkey, the dragonfly becomes uh, slightly worse. Uh, but if I triple the hawk, that'll be key. Uh, I think I would have liked to triple the owl, because the owl would give me so much more benefits. This guy has bad order. I don't know what was happening there, but yeah, he gets clapped. Um, and, he, and then I'm like, oh my god, I got a monkey, and I'm like... And I'm like, okay, well, dragonfly is going to be a little worse off the wear. And then I'm just like, you know what, it's time to stop scaling the owl. And it's time to just start scaling another guy. So I just got the boar here. And I'm freezing for the monkey. Shift everything around. So boar is actually pretty strong because it keeps getting stats every time before it attacks. And now Dragonfly is giving me plus 9, plus 9. I'm getting the monkey plus 4, plus 4. So I'm getting plus 13, plus 15 every turn. Uh, oh! Actually, this was clutch. Putting the hawk in second position is instant killing his Nurakabe. If I didn't kill his Nurakabe, I would have lost this round. So picking up the boar and then shifting everything around just made such a huge difference there. So that guy just gets clapped. He was like, finally, I have my end game build. And then I'm like, ah, jokes. Not really. So unfortunately, the pretzel doesn't really give me the plus four, plus four, because I think the owl is a very low tier pet. Everything else is high tier, though. So I'm just like, oh. I'm going to feed the pita bread here, because I'm like, the boar could use pita bread. Actually, garlic probably could be better. Hmm. No, but there's too much stuff that applies like weak and whatnot, so yeah. So this guy has kind of a build like mine, except I'm better. I'm superior. He has a Nurakabe in there. Uh, here too, Nurakabe. He tried. This guy doesn't have my stats though. Um, so yeah, my passive stat scaling here is pretty cracked. And then I Peter bred the boar, so eventually the Peter bread's gonna fall off and kind of not be useful. Especially if my boar hits max health. I don't need my boar to be any higher level. Freeze for the mankey. Uh-huh. Bam. Dragonfly value. Monkey is actually getting pretty big too. Like my, most of my pets are really big across the board. So Nurakabe once again is in the second position. Bonk. Bye-bye Nurakabe. Okay, he pinged off my dragonfly. So this guy just has a ping build, but pings lose pretty hard to stats once the stats start rolling. And my stats have started rolling. Um, so yeah, I think a good balance is like having ping and stats. Unfortunately, I, I just can't do anything with the owl right now. Like I have to keep it around because um, I've sunk quite a bit of stats in there. I think I probably could have swapped out for a dragonfly maybe, but I was like, nah. Anyways, because because I don't think I could uh, scale fast enough and the dragonfly would absorb the buffs that would normally go onto the boar. So I have a really tanky boar now. Um, I don't actually know. Ooh, okay, okay. He just eliminated everything. Bonk. Pita bread activates, healing my boar up. So my boar is just a 50 50 at this point. So I'm just like, let's go. 50 50 boar. 
Uh, so I'm calculating here. I'm like, ooh, do I leave the boar in the front? I give the Peter Bread to the monkey here, because the monkey's actually significantly large in stats as well. Uh, this is the last battle, so I'm just like, time to buff everything up. Gave an egg to this guy. And I was like, whatever, just, you know, there we go. The board doesn't gain any new stats past 50. And, but the Peter Bread should still be able to heal it, unless I get hit by a 50. And I'm just like, no, he's got a walnut. Not a walnut, he's got a peanut. Ooh, and he replaced my Peter Bread here. So I'm just like, oh, depression. Uh-huh. And then so this guy's the peanut. Okay, bonk. Someone's a 48-48, and I'm like, oh my god. Almost died there. But we drew, so I was like, huh. Oh, huh. Oh. Thank god. You know, breathe a sigh of relief. So now I'm just like, okay, the boar's gotta like shift. I'm gonna shift the boar into the second place. I put the hawk in the front. Because I'm wasting stats. Uh and then oh my god, trip off the monkey here, a 6-9 monkey. So now monkey could get stats. That orange was a bit of a was a bit of a risk. Ooh, Boar got the stats here. Uh, there, oh no, Boar was a level one, so Boar always gets the stats. I got a 45-50 hawk here. Just okay, bonk. 50-50 whale shark though, that makes me depressed. But you know what? Everything else I have is really big. So there we go. There we go. This guy just got outstatted. The 50-50 will shot. See, if I had garlic, the boar would have survived. <laughs> if I had garlic, the boar would have survived. Yeah, a little optimizations here and there. But yeah, that was actually probably one of the best games I've played in a while. Just like the sheer comeback from this game was insane. Um, on average, this doesn't happen. I usually just get rolled and then I'm just like, dang it victory i mean i mean dead dead at three wins but yeah if you guys enjoyed this game be sure to leave a like and until next time i'll see you guys later in the rear with the gear the tires let's light some fires